Hey, welcome back to another video. In this one we will continue working with charts and basically this will be one of the last lessons related to charts. So let's first remove this funnel that we previously created and then I'm gonna go to add a chart and now I'm gonna choose waterfall chart. I'm gonna place it here and then let's resize it. Now what we can see on this chart? We have something similar to bar chart and basically we have value for each category. In this case this category represents actually channel. So we can see in this dimension channel column here. Also we have sales. So basically each of these bars represent sales for each channel. Excellent. There is one important feature for this chart. If we scroll down, if we check this totals section, we can see total calculation none. Let's click on none and instead of that let's click attend. So what does this mean? This means basically that this is our total value. This is total sales and then we can compare from total what number we are getting from each category, in this case from each channel. So from online obviously we have the highest value. Then we can check in store, then probably reseller and so on. But basically we can visualize amount of sales for each channel. Let's go back to top. Instead of channel we can provide for example region. So again we can compare sales for each region basically comparing to our total and this is very useful information in some situations. Okay if you scroll down we will be able to see all default options that we have for all other charts so let's go to style and let's see what we can modify on this chart. Again we have this chart title we can make it horizontal and vertical we can provide number of bars, also we can customize these colors. So if it's rising, we can provide green color, red if it's falling and so on. We have also this option to remove axis, but in this case we will keep them. Also to show or remove axis title, we can change these grid lines, background and border and basically that's all. Okay, with this I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.